Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video where I show you 10 products that I use daily that I cannot live without. And it's gonna be a short video because there's only 10 things I'm going over and I don't wear makeup daily, so none of this is actually makeup. These are products that I may have mentioned in passing, skincare, body care, beauty hygiene kind of stuff that I have maybe mentioned a few of them on my channel, but not all of them. And they're just things that I use on a daily basis that I'm constantly repurchasing that I may not mention on my channel. But I figure I wanted to do a whole video on these products because I use them every single day and they don't get enough love and I need to share with you my favorites. Starting off with the cleanser I am obsessed with. It is from CeraVe. And majority of my skincare is actually from the drugstore. Sometimes I switch out an eye cream or a serum that might be high end, but the bulk of my skincare is drugstore. And I love the CeraVe line. If you have sensitive, normal to dry skin like me, I absolutely love this line. And specifically this cleanser, it's the hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin. It stores and maintains protective skin barrier with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. It just has really good ingredients in this and very effective for my skin. I cleanse once in the morning and sometimes at night I do a double cleanse if I'm wearing makeup. But if I'm just strictly cleansing my skin, not wearing makeup, so on an everyday, I always use my CeraVe lately. And I always, always, always use it with my Foreo. And I've been using this I don't know how many years now. Initially, I did a sponsorship with Foreo many years ago, and I had been using a Clarisonic for about 10 years prior to switching over to the Foreo, and I fell in love with it right away. It's just better for my sensitive skin, and also it's more hygienic. You don't have to change out the brush heads, and it's just easier to keep clean. The charge lasts forever. I maybe have to charge this once or twice a year using this every single day to the point where I actually lose the charger. So if you're looking for a skincare brush, I like this kind of design best for a skincare brush. You don't necessarily have to get the Foreo. I know there's some knockoffs out there, but I just prefer this over a Clarisonic and I use it every single day, morning and night to cleanse my skin. I find that it does remove more makeup and it's just more effective for cleansing my skin than just using my fingers. I'm just a firm believer in the Foreo for me. It, I never thought my skin could be more clean than it already was. And then I started using the Foreo and it just really makes a huge difference for my skin. And then to moisturize my skin, this works beautifully underneath makeup too. I use this at night. I don't like anything too heavy for my skin. As you guys are aware, I have sensitive skin and I just find the CeraVe line works beautifully. Not sponsored, wish it was, but I just really like them and they're super affordable. You can find them at the drugstore. Really easy, effective line to use if you're on a budget or just want something good, not even on a budget, like I would recommend this. This is what I use, I love it. And it is the moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. And this also has ceramides and hyaluronic acid, two really great things for this skin. And I just, find it works beautifully on my skin, keeps me hydrated, but not too hydrated to the point of my skin breaking out, which can happen with really thick moisturizers. Highly recommend that whole line. It's just like a basic skincare for me that I use both of those. And as I said, I switch up eye cream or a serum every now and then. So those I can't really mention on a daily because honestly those tend to change, but on an every single day basis, that's what I'm reaching for for skin. Doorbell, of course. Running to catch the door. Every time, <laughs> never fails. <laughs> then to finish off my skincare routine, I always, always, always use an SPF. And I like at least a 30. And this is the one I've been repurchasing because I find it's good for my sensitive skin. It wears beautifully underneath makeup. So those two things are really important for me. And it is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Protection with SPF 30. And it has a 20% zinc oxide, which is what I look for in my sunscreens. Even if a sunscreen is formulated for the face, I almost always break out and this one doesn't break out my face. So that is why I keep repurchasing it because I don't want to mess around with anything else to go through that breakout stage. 
and it just works perfectly for me. So this is what I recommend if you're looking for a good everyday facial sunscreen and it works underneath makeup. It is sheer, so this isn't gonna leave a white cast on your skin if you're worried about that. It does blend in, it's not super goopy and white and leave that white cast, which again, important for me, especially if I'm putting my makeup on top, I don't want it to interfere with anything like that. So highly recommend if you're looking for a new facial sunscreen. Drunk Elephant is my go-to. This is a product I've mentioned probably years ago on my channel, honestly, but I still use it ever since it came out. And I don't know how many years it's been. It's been, I can't even count. It has to be over 10 that this has been out for, I'm not sure. But I've not used anything other than this since it came out. And this is the Colgate Optic White. I'll buy any of the Optic White formulas, the ones that are smaller that they're supposed to whiten your teeth faster. Uh, the bigger tubes really doesn't matter to me as long as it's the optic white. I find this is the best for my teeth. It keeps my teeth white. I always get asked if I white my teeth and I don't, I only use my Colgate. So that is what I use morning and night for my teeth. They probably could look a little bit whiter right now because I just had black coffee. I know a lot of people always ask me about teeth whitening and what I use. I don't whiten my teeth, I haven't for years. And this is what I use to brush my teeth. So love my Colgate Optic White and I will forever repurchase this. I don't mention toothpaste enough on my channel, but I really, really like this. And then moving on to my deodorant. This is hands down my favorite. I've tried other kind, I was gonna say other flavors, <laughs> other scents of this deodorant. And this is by far my favorite. It's from Schmitz and it is the Coconut Pineapple for Sensitive Skin. So I do like to get things that are geared towards sensitive skin a lot of the time because I do have sensitive skin and this is nice for a deodorant for me. I honestly wouldn't have to really wear deodorant. I don't sweat also, so I've never needed an antiperspirant and natural deodorant isn't an antiperspirant. It's just a deodorizer for your underarms. You do have to reapply it throughout the day if you need that. For me, I just wear it once a day. I'm fine. As I said, I don't sweat and I don't smell. Every time I say I don't sweat, people find it like really odd, but I don't know. I just don't. I get super beet red. I honestly wish I would sweat, <laughs> but I don't. So this is what works for me and I don't need anything super strong. I love the smell of this. It smells like the tropical trident gum, the yellow. This is a brand new one I just got. It smells so, so good. And it's just my favorite deodorant, honestly. So this is what I keep repurchasing. I was using the bergamot lime one before, but one of you guys mentioned that it wasn't good for your underarms because you were found it was breaking you out. And honestly, I can see why the formula of that would irritate the underarm. So I switched back quickly to my sensitive skin one. I just picked that one up because I couldn't find this. So I just kept searching for it until I could find it. <laughs> and I got mine on well.ca. Usually I like to pick it up at Winners when they have it available, but they didn't this time. It's usually cheaper there. And that's the one I like, coconut pineapple. If you like the tropical trident gum, you gotta test this one out. Don't eat it, but the smell. It's really good. Moving on to my seventh product that I absolutely love and use every single day. It is my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Gel Cream. Longest name ever, but I love the smell of this line. Everything for this line in the yellow containers has that original smell that I absolutely love. It is so, so good. What are the exact notes of this? I'll have to go and look up the notes of this, but for me, I love this. I love the body mist. I love the scrub. I love the shower gel. I love the shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> I love the moisturizer. I love it all. So this is my favorite shower product. I take a shower every day. I don't wash my hair every day. Also, I would include those shampoo and conditioner right now, but I do have a shower every day and wash my body with this and absolutely love it. it smells great, makes me happy keep repurchasing it. And then this will come as no surprise to you if you watch my channel at all. <laughs> this is from Jouer, it's the Essential Lip Enhancer. I have like four of these on the go at all times. This one is pretty much almost out and I have a bunch of things that are close to being out. So I wanted to film an empty soon if you guys wanna see that, I love empties videos. But this is my favorite lip balm for during the day. It says if you use this, twice a day, it's clinically proven to decrease lines and make your lips fuller and softer. 
actually three times daily, three times daily for 29 days. But I honestly wear this maybe once a day and I've noticed that difference in my lips. So I keep repurchasing this because I can tell when I stop using this, my lips go back to being kind of dry and crusty and they don't have that fullness, which this honestly maintains that for me. So I love this. It smells like rose. It has a light pink color to it. It's beautiful on its own and it's just my favorite everyday product. Regardless if I have makeup on or not, I am putting this on my lips and it just feels good, looks good. Talk about it all the time. I love it. <laughs> and then I have a little nighttime ritual that I have to do every single night. And I like to use my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, the original one. I've tried other flavors since, and this is still my favorite. I really, really like it. It's super thick. It's really nice and comfortable on my lips. I find when I wake up in the morning, I still have a veil of this on my lips, so it doesn't completely disappear. It really helps condition my lips overnight, which I truly need and it's just fantastic especially if you like to wear lipstick a lot liquid lipstick i need to maintain the health of my lips to keep them looking nice and this is my go-to i bought my husband the choco mint one because i swear by it i said at least he can take care of his lips at night even if he forgets at work just throw some on at night and it really does help you out so highly recommend the laneige lip sleeping mask they have a bunch of different ones i'm sure you'll find a flavor scent that you like i still really like the original and then my 10th product that i cannot live without cannot sleep without <laughs> this is from ren and it is their and now to sleep pillow spray it calms and soothes aids beauty sleep naturally scented i think it has lavender and frank in this i'll put the notes on the screen for you guys but it's not my favorite smell in the world but it is very relaxing. So I always spray a couple sprays of this on my pillow before I rest at night. I lay down, either watch some TV or read a book. Usually right before bed, I like to read and just the combination of having this kind of scent linger there, having my book, it just puts me to sleep. I'm out like a light, I sleep through the night and I'm telling you, I sleep with my Apple Watch on and I can tell nights if I forgot to spray this, I'm not getting the quality sleep that I usually get with this. I've tested it and not on purpose too, so it wasn't influenced by me. It truly does. Based on my sleep from my watch, it truly helps me on the nights that I'm using it. <laughs> so that's one thing that I have to use if I, for whatever reason, forget it. And I wake up the next morning, I'm like, yep, I forgot my sleep spray. I needed that. <laughs> I have a backup of that ready to go. That's one thing I do not wanna run out of. And these products, I absolutely love. I swear by these. I may not mention them in a makeup video, beauty video, because these are just random products that I use every day that I cannot live without. <laughs> if you have any products that you use every day that doesn't have to be makeup related, but I want to know what are some things that you can't live without. Do you have a certain product that you absolutely love that you need to use every day? Because these are mine. These are what I swear by and I wanted to share with you in a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video idea. Super fun for me to film thinking of 10 things that I can't live without. And I'd love to know at least one of yours. So leave that in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video.